Welcome back to the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, we go back in time to the massive kitchen renovation. There's been a lot of rumors circulating the internet. The massive kitchen renovation is done, it's been done, and there were no major problems. I say major problems. Massive problems there were. And that's what today's video is about, is the massive problems on the massive kitchen renovation. Before we start, I wanna answer one question that I get every single day, and that is, Handyman, where do you live? Can you please come work on my house? I get between 30 and 50,000 views per day. So I get this question sometimes dozens of times a day. I'm not available. So what I've been advising people that are emailing me to check out Handyworks. I've talked about it on the Handyman Business Channel quite a bit. I've been asked to be on the vetting board so that we can make sure there are qualified technicians to take care of your home improvement needs, uh, home maintenance needs. There is an interactive map on the Handyworks website where you can check to see if someone is available to work for you uh, in your location. There's more and more coming on the platform every single day. So check back often, it's growing quite rapidly. Links to the app are in the description, as well as the social media platforms where you can get all the information you need to see how it works and how fast you can have someone at your house ready to do your home repairs. The massive kitchen renovation, the countertops were massive and caused massive problems for the installer, for the fabricator, for the main granite contractor. I'm going to turn it over to Handyman from the past and he's going to take you through how it happened. Join me at the end of this video and we will have more messages and updates on the channel, the second channel and the third channel. Countertop install day. Uh, so all the bases, all the blue bases are done and in and leveled and shimmed. Uh, the floor slopes away from the exterior wall quite a bit. So we got all the fronts shimmed up. Um, right here, there's also uh, a wall in the basement. It's, it's a non-load bearing wall. It's something that got added in after. But I guess as the house settled, right here is a ridge, there's a high point. So it dips down quite a bit and I got it shimmed there. This little peninsula cabinet is floating right now. I don't have it fastened to the floor. When they came to measure, I wasn't 100% confident in the guy's uh, measure. So this peninsula can go in and out, oh, up to a quarter inch, maybe even a half if, if need be. Um, it can wiggle around a little bit. Uh, the sink. The sink is shimmed up in place. Uh, there's cross bracing underneath here. They are going to be siliconing the quartz countertop onto this. Um, it should overhang, I believe, a little bit into here and across the back as well. Nothing on this area here. They're a day late, which, you know, I understand things happen. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this was a fun cabinet to build over there. This cabinet here, I still need to build a face frame for that. I will be building a custom made butcher block countertop. Hopefully this stuff comes off. So they're gonna have to do a, a bit of in the field adjustments. Too much dust. 
I'm going to jump in here real quick. Hindsight's 2020. This all happened a long time ago. And in my dealings with the Granite Company, they informed me that their, their installers are not supposed to grind or cut at all inside the house. No grinding inside the house. I agree with them. I agree with them. They should not be grinding inside the house. If I did not put that plastic up and get, and get the, uh, the, the fan in the window and get it all vacuumed up and wiped down, they, they were literally just dragging their feet, bringing mud in, grinding that quartz dust into that beautiful hardwood floor. It, it, was, it was quite aggravating. And looking back, I probably should have stopped it right when they got there. Not even allowed them to unload it because they couldn't unload it. They could not get the massive countertop out without my help. They couldn't get it into the house without my help. One of the lost video clips shows all three of us installing, like lifting it up and putting it in there. It was, it was quite upsetting to lose that video footage. I've searched high and low. I've seen the number, the, the video before it and the video after it, and I've looked everywhere. Can't find it. So if you're doing this, ask your granite installer or your fabricator or the company, do you grind, do you cut inside the house? If they say yes, what sort of measures do you take to make sure the entire house does not fill up with dust or the entire kitchen doesn't fill up with dust? If they say, oh, they use a shop vac, that is not good enough. It's just, it's not good enough. You can clearly see in the video that the, the white dust is just spewing into the kitchen. I had to basically clean every nook and cranny in that kitchen. I ended up mopping and dusting the other part of the house. I did get that plastic wall up quite quick. They were grinding for maybe 30 seconds before I said, hey, ho, what's going on here? You can't do this. This is craziness. It's an occupied house. Even if it wasn't an occupied house, you know, a house under construction, it would have been filled with white granite dust. Well, the countertop is in and it's it's got to come out. I just sent off about a dozen photos of unacceptable areas. Uh, everything from the seam, the thickness of the seam, the color of the seam, the placement of this seam being not centered, this whole catastrophe over here, it's just riddled with black marks. Uh, some on the face can get polished out. On the top, not so sure. Um, even on the inside here, there's a big chip. Uh, it's probably about that big. I'll, I'll show you over here that they um, glued back in all along here. This is how they left it. There, um, back here are rust marks, rust scratches from something that like a carrier, like one of their A-frames. And they, they cut it shorter here and then they actually cut this chunk off. And they left a huge gap once they put the piece in and then they had to glue this back in. And as you can see, that is just, that's just horrible. And backsplash won't cover that up. It gets close but it's not gonna cover it up. This cabinet face is pretty much ruined. And I measured that seam there, and that's an eighth of an inch. Uh, the house is just trashed. Um, even though I stopped them, got the plastic put up, got the fan in the window, um, had them stop working and put some blankets down. They're coming to tear this whole thing out and put a new one in. Um, even the cell phone pictures that I sent them don't, and possibly the GoPro footage don't do the seams justice. Um, and all these black marks that are everywhere. So just based on the cell phone 
pictures. They didn't even want to send someone out to take a look and see if it could be polished or, and cleaned up. They just said, hey, we will be there uh, with the new one. Luckily, the floor, I think that Bona HD is pretty, pretty darn tough. I don't see any scratches. Uh, but before they get home, I got to mop the house. I got to dust the house. I got, I mean, the cabinets are just filled with dust. The faces are covered in them. Uh, this, is, this is a bad experience. It's hard to get a reference, you know, looking at a camera. But this area here, I'm not sure if this was all chipped out, why, why this is all filled in here. Disappointing, because these customers were expecting to come home and uh, get used to their, uh, their countertops. And they're not. So now it's up to me to, to explain that to them. Alrighty, well, stay tuned. See what it looks like on the second time around. You guys still watching? Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. You might be curious about my solar panels here. This is for a video. It's going to be on the Super Secret Third YouTube channel. If you have not followed me on Instagram, you know, follow me on Instagram and you send me a direct message. But you're only going to do that if you want to watch the third YouTube channel. Third YouTube channel has nothing to do with home improvement. You might see some tools in there, um, but it's not going to be any sort of home improvement stuff. Uh, these here are actually going on the, the top of my truck. I've got a lithium ion battery bank. Uh, the Delta that I did a video on where I welded, that's going in there. A SEMA Overland truck build. That's just one aspect of that channel. Uh, the other one has to do with eating them. If you're into the pew pew life, as they're calling it on social media these days, there's a lot of that on there. Probably shouldn't even put this on the main YouTube channel. <sighs> we'll see what I put on here. All the live streams will be on the Handyman business going forward. Uh, the Handyman main channel uh, has gotten too big. And it's, it's just too many people watching me. <laughs> Uh, talk candidly with guys that are in this type of industry. They've got a lot of weirdos out there. Uh, they're mostly daytime live streams. Replays of live streams are on Patreon. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. Rambled enough. Thank you for watching. Join me on those other YouTube channels where we can talk normally. And we're just going to do home improvement videos on this channel. Island... Colada Cream Ale, for those wondering. This is what my wife brings home. Island Colada Cream Ale with coconut and pineapple. Limited release. Not too bad. What is this thing? This is limited release. Right. Got the, the map and everything. 6%.